final thing we're going to look at is uh, constructing a pentagon. It's got all sorts of uh, nice properties and interesting things about pentagons. They uh, involve the golden ratio, and as a consequence, they occur a lot in nature. Flowers and okra vegetable have been examples you can look up on Wikipedia. Okay, first thing we're just going to draw a straight line from the top, so somewhere down the bottom. Okay, and then we get a compass out, and we're going to bisect that line. There, move that down, bring it around, down there, put that across on there. Ching, move it over the other side, put that over there like that, bring that down and round. Put it at the top, so this is just a standard bisecting the line method, okay. Let's get rid of that. Join those two up. Okay, and we've uh, perpendicular bisector of the original line we drew. Okay, let's get the compass out now then. And we're going to bring that up to the top. This is just to get us a, a nice circle with a cross in the middle. Fine, right. Okay, so the first step now, uh, well, well, no. now we've got the sort of basic setup. The first step is just to bisect this line here, going across there. So we'll quickly do that, and that there. So let's just correct that quickly. Move it around. Ching. Very nice. Let's just draw a line to finish that off then. Okay, that's not very. Miss the top one a little bit. No. Okay, let's get a bit better. There. To there. There to the top. Bisecting that line, I and mean the angle we've made here, we're bisecting that now. So what we, that little process we just did there, was a bisecting an angle. Okay, so let's just join it up. Good, and we get a little bisector at the top there. I'm just going to clear up some of the workings because it makes the next step look a bit of a mess. Okay, and the final thing. So we've done quite a lot so far. We've already bisected a line, bisected an angle. The final step here is going to be the uh, bisection. Sort of bisection. Sorry, is that drawing a parallel line through here? Let's see, let's do that. Okay. Bring that in. Oh, we need to put the colour back on. There we go. Line goes to the top. It's going to go through that point in there, isn't it? Move it around. Okay. So that, that length now is um, basically a pentagon side length, okay? So we've got to finish it off by uh, using it as a reference to put the rest in. I'm just going to go around, just going to set it to that length, put one down there, bring it around. Now, depending on how accurately I've done this, it should line up. Mm, we're a little bit out, aren't we? Perfect, but not far off. Okay, it should really have gone directly through there, but you know, it's difficult.
want to be perfect. There's measurement errors all over the place. Okay. So there we go, we've got our pentagon. Okay. And we're going to look at some of the properties. You can do some nice things with pentagons. You can um, make another pentagon very easily just by drawing up every other corner. And a little star. You see a pentagon and a star. Goes to there. Goes to there. No one was talking about the golden ratio earlier on. This length here, over that one there, is, is in the golden ratio. Okay, now the other thing we can do, which I really like, is the fact that you can make more pentagons very easily. Right, let's draw that to that and extend it out. And draw that to that and extend it out. Okay, if you want to do this at home, I'd, I'd really recommend rubbing out some of the construction lines, but you can see straight away we've got another pentagon there. We've got one there, one there. So let's try doing it again down here. So that will do. We want to get the ones over here, really, don't we? So we're going to go round. We're going to do one there, and we've got one there. Okay, let's see. And we're drawing that to that. And that to that. Very good. And you see another pentagon here. Let's put one. So we've got one, two, three pentagons. Difficult to see, as I say, you would normally. About your working, let's make it a bit clearer. And I'm going to draw that to that. That to that, and the pentagon. Have a little look down here, then you've got to go over the other side. It's getting a bit messy now. That, best I can see anyway, to that. Yeah, this is why it's always best to use a sharp pencil and uh, be as accurate as possible. So. To that and up the back, and it gets very hard to see the same way over there. That to that, and then the pentagon here's got one, two, three, four, five, and I should have six altogether. I'm going to bring that over, and again, just a uh, final one, and go that to that. that now. It's a bit difficult to see with all the, all the lines I know, but I'm going to mark some of them off in yellow, but you can see here we've got a pentagon there. Good. Okay. Pentagon at the top here. where they are. And you can use this as part of a net for a, to make up a dodecahedron. So if you want to be a bit creative with your maths and do some really nice atomic solid type shapes then not egg atomic solid shape then there's a nice way to do it. Okay keep going round. Jolly good. Sorry, six pentagons, and if you just uh, have another four, you can make up, and some sort of thing again, then um, you'll be there. 